You can open Adobe Illustrator files inside Cinema 4D Lite and then use the paths from those Illustrator files as splines and then create 3D objects from them. There's a workflow you need to follow to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that in this lesson. If you don't own Adobe Illustrator, all is not lost. I've provided an Illustrator file for you to use that you can use as an example here inside Cinema 4D. Even if you don't own Illustrator, I think it's worth your while to follow along. So let's switch over to Illustrator here. This is the example file that I've provided, and you can track this down inside the Working Files folder. Just go File, Open, and we'll go to the Desktop, Working Files, Assets, and there's that file, which you can open up inside Cinema 4D. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Cancel out of this. I want to make a new file from scratch here, so I go File, New. We'll take the size that I've been working with here, click OK. Blank slate like this. I'm going to add some text to this, so click on the Type tool on here and go get one of my favorite fonts, Black Oak Standard, because it's just so hefty looking. Can't miss it really. And we'll make it, let's say, 60 points. And here's more text. It's a little bit off to the right there. I'll just move it over to the center a bit like that. Now, if I save this and then open it up inside Cinema 4D, it won't work. It won't even open. When you're working with text, you have to convert it to outlines for it to open up inside Cinema 4D with paths. And you also have to save the Illustrator file as an Illustrator 8 file, a very old version of Illustrator. That's the only Illustrator file type that Cinema 4D works with. So the first order of business is to convert this to outlines by right-clicking here inside this box inside the text and saying Create Outlines. There you go. And now I'm going to save this. And to save this as an old version of Illustrator, I need to save as. So I go File, Save As. And I want to save it inside my Exercise Files folder. So I'll just call this an Illustrator 8 test. Click Save. And I get this options dialog box and I choose Illustrator 8. Click OK. And I'm going to get this message saying, hey, this is an old version. You OK with this? Yep. Click OK. And now we're done there. And now we go back to Cinema 4D. And now I want to open up that Illustrator file here inside Cinema 4D. So I go File, Open. There it is inside My Exercise Files folder. Just double click on that. And I get this dialog box, Adobe Illustrator Import. It says scale, meaning one pixel equals one unit here inside Cinema 4D, which is fine. We could change the scale, but that's fine. But here's the important thing. Connect splines. That's the biggie. Now, you can't connect splines inside Cinema 4D Lite. You can connect them in higher versions of Cinema 4D, but not the Lite version. And that's what makes working with Illustrator so valuable, and I'll show you what that means in just a second. And grouping splines is something you don't want to do because it creates these null objects that are just going forever. So we just want to connect the splines. So I click OK. And it comes in like this, with the text there and the null object layer here with all the various paths here. Let's just put this text more or less in the center. The way you do that is by selecting the null object like so, going to coordinates, clicking on that, and you can see that it's a little bit off the center here. The way you can set these guys to zero quickly is to right click on these double arrows, and that sets it to zero really fast like that. I'm going to pull that guy over by just grabbing this guy and pulling it down like so. All right, let's extrude this. So to do that, I go get the extrude nerves. I want to put these guys inside there. If I just take this null object and put it in there, nothing will happen. I'm going to take these paths and put it inside there. So click that path 1, path 11. And you may be going, why does it go from 1 to 11 when there aren't really 11 paths? And I'll explain that in a second. Drag those guys up to extrude nerves. And there you go, except it just does the first one, which is what you'd expect. Because when you have a bunch of things under extrude nerves, it just extrudes the first one. But you can override that by clicking on extrude nerves going to its object group here. Down here is a little button for hierarchical. Click on that. All the guys are now included inside extrude nerves. Pretty great. And you can get rid of this null object now just by clicking on it and deleting it. There you go. So why, though, do we have paths numbered 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10? Why does that happen? Well, what's going on here is that we combined paths. The letter O, for example, is two paths, the outer path and the inner path. And whenever you have a path that's fully inside an outer path, and you've connected them, the inner path makes a hole. And it's combined like this into one, so you don't see path three. Same thing for the letter E. Letter E is path five, and path six is the hole inside E there. And then the other letter E over here is path eight, and then you have a hole inside there. So that connect allows you to have these holes here like that. What's also cool about this is that each letter is its own path, which means I can grab this guy and move it up and down like that. And if I go to the points mode like this, I can adjust the points in each one of these guys individually, whichever one I've selected. I can adjust them as separate objects like that and mess around with them like that. 
All right, now making text is one thing. You can make text inside Cinema 4D, so making it inside Illustrator maybe is not that important of a task. But let's say you want to create an object with a hole in it, well, you really can't do that inside Cinema 4D Lite. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to delete this here entirely. Go over to Splines here. We'll get a rectangular spline like so. I want to expand it, so I'm going to change to the Object Mode, Scale. Keep it wider like that. Back to the Move tool here. I'm going to slide it along like so. Go to the splines again, get a circle. Put the circle inside there. Let's scale that guy down, change you back to model so it'll be uniform. So I've got this circle inside that rectangle. And I'd love to be able to carve a hole inside the rectangle with that circle. So I go over here and get my extrude nerves, take the circle and put it inside there, and it extrudes it. Good. What I want to do is have that be a hole, so then I get the rectangle, put that inside. Didn't really work, right? You'd expect that. It's now taking the one on top, which is the rectangle. Let's say I go over here and click on extrude nerves and change it to hierarchical. It will combine the two guys. Wonderful, but there's no hole. The normal way you would fix that is by connecting these guys. So I would select this one and controller command click on this one and right click and find the word connect here. But the connect function is not included in Cinema 4D Lite. So you cannot connect things so you can build holes inside them. But you can do that in Illustrator. That is your workaround. So I'm going to delete this here and go back to Illustrator. Let's take this text here and drag it down the page away here so we get it out of the way. And click away here so we don't change the text. I'm going to add some geometric shapes here. Over here, and let's say get a rectangle like that. Let's change its color to something other than black and draw a rectangle. Here we go. Let's say right about like that. Now I want to put something inside there to show you how that works. Click away there to deselect that and get, let's say, a rounded rectangle. Good. Change the color to something other than red. And we'll draw inside there like so. All right. And now I'm going to save this just by going Control or Command S. I don't need to change the name. We'll keep the original name here. And we're going to get the same message again. Go back to Cinema 4D. Now I'm going to what's called Revert to Save. We are currently working with that original file, Illustrator 8 Test. I'm going to Revert to Save. So it's going to revert to the newly saved version. So I go File, Revert to Saved. Yep. And we got the same message as before. We want to connect the splines, you bet. Here we go. We've got the text down there. We've got this guy. Let's just take a look at this. Which one is this? Well, not immediately obvious, but if I click on path 12 there and turn it off for a second, that's that collection of two paths. It's one because it got connected. It's actually path 12 and path 13. You just don't see path 13 because it's inside there. So let's extrude that. So go over here and get the extrude nerves. Just take path 12 and put it inside there. And lo and behold, we have a hole. Let's go back to Illustrator. Let's add some more stuff here. Just click away for a moment to deselect that, and we'll change the color to something else and we'll get a different object here like an ellipse the ellipse inside there like so and let's put a star inside there as well so change the color to something else all together and we'll get a star now i've got these guys there i'll just save this control command s get that same message again go back to cinema 4d and we will revert to saved again file revert to save Get the same message. Yep. Get this guy again. Yep. Get these paths again. Open this up. It's actually path 12, 13, 14, and 15, all combined into one. And let's put that inside an extrude nerves. Go up to you, extrude nerves, put you inside the extrude nerves. And look at that. Pretty cool. And the text we can treat separately. Make another extrude nerves for you. Take those paths, put them inside this other one. Click on extrude nerves there, make it hierarchical. And there you have it. And finally, if you have an existing project open, let's go File New. I'm going to just put something up there, let's say a cube, just for example. And if I want to bring in an Illustrator file to an existing project like this, I do File Merge. It's File Merge over here, or over here, File Merge Objects. Despite the fact that it says Objects here, it's the same command. I go like that. I can go get this file we just made, bring it in. Click OK, and all those guys come in here. They get centered up down below here just because of the way they're organized back in the Illustrator file. I can click on this thing again like that. Go to coordinates, right click, right click, and there they are. And that's how you can bring in an Illustrator file to an existing project by merging it into the project. So there you go. That's how you work with Illustrator files here inside Cinema 4D.